Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello if you're new here, my name is Shakira Alexis and we're just going to get straight into the video. Today I've got a review. Um, I've always kind of wanted these trainers um, and it just didn't seem that attainable to me at the time that I wanted them if I was being honest. But I managed to get my hands on a pair. I'm just going to show you the box. Chanel. Um, I was so happy when I got these. Um, really, really long waited, but I was finally able to get my hands on a pair. So we're just going to do an unboxing. Of course, I've worn them before. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, I'm just about to show you what it comes with. It comes with a shoe bag um and it comes for each individual um shoe so it looks like this so you have two of these obviously for each um shoe so i like to put my shoes and um, put shoe horns in my shoes just so they can retain their shape um once they've been worn if there are any creases it, it's like more likely to just kind of keep the creases out so here they are here are my Chanel's. As you can see, they have got a bit of wear on the toe box. I just need to buff the suede. Um, I absolutely love these, honestly. So, so perfect, honestly. Um, here's the other foot as well. Honestly, love them. And I can say that I really, really love the combination of the materials so you have like the the leather upper um and then you've got it mixed with like the suede on the lower base just here let me see if I can get just there and then you've got the toe box which is like a neoprene um and I think it's a really really comfortable shoe for a designer shoe um I think often more than not sometimes you can run up on some designer shoes and they're not the most comfortable and that's something that really kind of puts me off getting designer shoes sometimes um but i can say obviously each style will vary on how comfortable it is this is a trainer and it's like a runner as well so um of course i would expect these to be comfortable if i'm being honest um it's a really really durable shoe this is what the sole looks like as well Okay, as you can see, it's got the double C Chanel logo on the soles, and then it's just greeted with like a plastic mid, and then back to the rubber soles at the back. As you can see, the bottom is quite wide, it's nice, it's sturdy. Um, the soles really do remind me of like um, dance shoes. My dance shoes back in the day used to be like these, um, but these are honestly so, so comfortable, so sturdy. The materials are really nice. So we've got Chanel on the toe box just there, nice little branding. And we also have Chanel where the lace up is as well. Inside as well with the label, right there. Beautifully made, beautifully, beautifully made. Um, Honestly, I've tried not to wear this shoe a lot because I really don't want to wear it down. Um, I do need to treat the suede um, just to make sure that it comes up really, really nicely. Um, that when I am storing and not wearing them, um, that the wear and tear on them doesn't um, kind of like deplete or... You know when you don't look after shoes when you've um, stopped wearing them sometimes it can have an impact on the quality of shoe of the shoe and the materials and things like that so i want to ensure that um you know i'm buffing the shoe i'm making sure the shoe is clean um i'm buffing the, the suede uh, if i need to get any black suede spray then i can do that as well which i think i should do because suede is something that is really um easily like worn out and for those who don't know if you um buff out suede enough it can turn into leather so sometimes that's why you might see um some parts of the suede doesn't look furry that is just literally because the wear on the suede um buffs it back down basically makes it smooth like leather so that's the reason so you want to make sure that you are storing them nicely i'm going to also show you guys what they look like on feet as well because of course why not um 
In terms of price point, I found these on a Vestiaire Collective. Um, they are online, I guess, retailer where you can find vintage designer. Um, some people upload new designer bits on there. I found these Chanel's in my size. Um, that was barely worn. Um, pretty much brand new, from being honest. And I was luckily enough able to get my hands on these. Um, sometimes as well, it's not something that I instantly came upon. Um, you do have to keep your eye on things, especially if you're looking for it. Um, sellers put things up on there all the time. Just generally browse the internet. Um, and see what you can find. These obviously do retail at quite a high price, um, but I managed to get these for a steal, so be sure to check that website out and see what you can find. So yeah, you can get a range of design around there, you name it, it's on there. Just put all the info that you need to and you'll be able to find exactly what you're looking for. Um, and yeah, so it's quite a good website to find designer items. Also, the one thing that I do want to say about that website as well is that your design items do get authenticated so you can pay an extra fee um, and your shoes can get authenticated by the Vestia Collective team um, to ensure that the goods that you are buying are legit and authentic. Um, I would say that um, some options on there as well do have direct shipping and this doesn't allow you to get the authentication check. However, um, I'm sure if you speak to the seller there may be a way which they can um, list the item to get authenticated by the team before you receive the item because obviously when you're buying designer goods um, I kind of know what to look for when I'm looking for certain designer items to point out to me whether they're fake um, I think it's something that you have to do your research on especially when you want to buy vintage items um, I would definitely say do your research and have a look um, but there is a team there that's able to authenticate um, your designer items for you I think these Chanel's are perfect for all season. The colourway is complete black. You cannot go wrong with that at all. Um, you can wear them in the winter, you can get them in the, wear them in the summer, you can maximise the usage from these um, Chanel's. Um, I wore them in the summer and I love them and you can wear them any way you want with jeans, shorts, skirts, you name it, you can wear it as long as you're able to style the shoe um, really cool then I'm sure you'll be able to pull it off. So I'm going to put in some footage of these on the feet. I really hope I've covered all the info that you guys need to know about this shoe. Um, if you guys have any more questions, please do leave them down in the comment box below. Um, I would love to help you guys out, especially when you're looking for designer items. Um, I would love to give you guys some heads up, some tips, anything like that. So if you have any queries, any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I've got a few more videos lined up and some sneakers that I want to show you guys. Some trainers that I want to show you guys. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next one. Peace. They're gonna do it anyway.